Welcome to the Phenomenological Alliance channel. In this video, we will discuss the next question that phenomenology poses in the field of natural sciences, namely the problem of missing perception due to the lack of conscious attention. Modern physics has adopted the view promoted by Leonardo da Vinci, stating that darkness does not exist as an independent reality. Darkness is absence of light. Shadow is diminution of light. A white surface appears white because it reflects all incoming light, while a black surface reflects no light. Transparent colored filters allow certain wavelengths of white light, which contains all colors, to pass through. In practical terms, the colored shadow is not a reality, but rather a component of white light with diminished intensity. All other shadow phenomena are also interpreted in this way. For example, when an object is illuminated by three differently colored light sources, it casts three colored shadows on the screen. The phenomenon is interpreted as follows. When lights of various colors strike in the same place, preferably on a surface that is white in color, the light reflecting from that place is the sum of the lights that strike upon it. Therefore, we see different colored shadows on the white surface with various color combinations. This phenomenon is known as the colored shadow. In line with the contemporary understanding of shadow, it is regarded as a diminished part of light, lacking distinct qualities that set it apart from the light itself. Let's consider this position in more detail. The image depicts a sketch of the experiment. Two light sources, white and red, illuminate an opaque object. It casts a double shadow on the screen. The shadow created by white light is red, and the shadow created by red light is of a complementary color, turquoise. When the shadow formed by the red light is illuminated with the white light, the shadow becomes turquoise. The shadow of red light should be a lack of light, and there is no reason why it should change color when illuminated. According to modern interpretations, this shadow should eventually become brighter, but not differently colored. The shadow should neither alter the transmission of white light, as is the case with filters of light, nor affect the reflection of white light, as is the case with colored surfaces. Modern physics such experiments interpret with the concept of chromatic induction. According to these interpretations, these are psychovisual phenomena that pertain to subjective perceptions of colors rather than the objective laws governing color appearance. In practice, a turquoise shadow may appear turquoise to us in red environment, but in reality, it's black. However, such interpretations cannot answer the question of how the turquoise shadow appears turquoise in both photographs and videos where psychovisual effects are not applicable. The experiment suggests that the shadow actively contributes to the appearance of colors, emphasizing that the perception of color cannot be exclusively attributed to geometric models of light, but rather to visual perception within the context of the entire image. Phenomenology is defined as the science of the experience of consciousness and is focused on the question of consciousness and its reality. The accompanying drawing shows a bunch of lines, which is the sensory content that is given directly. Whether we see a rabbit, a duck, or both is determined by a conscious part of sensuous content. Perception is inextricably related to conscious intention. If we believe that, for example, 
a shadow is only a lack of light, then in external nature, we are not able to perceive the true nature of the shadow, nor are we inclined to study how it influences reality. The phenomenological approach also examines the correctness of other representations that we do not particularly think about, but accept as true due to our habit of thinking. The application of phenomenology in physics questions the ways of forming attitudes that are considered scientifically confirmed. Are these attitudes the results of facts, or are they the outcome of inherited conviction? Let's consider this question on the model of the expansion of light through space.